number 19 here on the top 50 albums of 2015. According to me, obviously it's all subjective, these choices, is the one only Moonspell with their latest album, Extinct. Honestly, this album came out of the blue for me. Um, I've heard a bit of a Moonspell before, back on the album with Scorpion Flower on it, which... Oh, Night Eternal album. Quite liked them then, but they were a lot heavier on that album. However, this album, they've taken a massive dollop of um, Depeche Mode and Old School Goth, along with Keeping the Growls and all that, and really, really come up with something special. This album is absolutely chock full of absolutely superb songs that are great for a gloomy winter's evening to chill out to and just listen to. And hopefully I'll get to see them live this year and interview them. That's, that's a big hope, really. Um, but this is an absolutely superb album. If you've not heard Moonspell yet, go check out this album. In at number 19, the one only Moonspell with Extinct. In at number 18 is the Eagles of Death Metal with their latest album, The One and Only Zipper Down. This is a really, really cool, really, really fun album full of incredibly catchy songs, it has to be said. Um... Obviously, I can't really talk about the Eagles of Death Metal without addressing what happened at one of their shows in Paris on the tour last year. It was an absolute tragedy, and um, my condolences go out to all those families who were affected. What I was glad to see was that they have announced more gigs in France, including Paris, um, coming up this year in February, and I hope they get a massive reception. But honestly, they have got a fantastic album to really back up those gigs Really fun time um, rock and roll for you here. If you haven't heard Eagles of Death Metal before, go check out this album. This is Zipper Down by Eagles of Death Metal here at number 18. In at number 17, we have got the one and only UK exponents of fantastic indie-influenced progressive rock, I suppose is the best way I can describe them these days. Although they seem to be um, drifting towards sounding more like Queen on their last two albums, um, they've really come back in force here on album, uh, on whatever album number this is, I can't remember now. I've been supporting Muse from, uh, well, day one back in the showbiz days when they really were just a small indie band with a fancy album behind them then. But anyway, I've had my ups and downs with the band. There's one or two albums that I weren't a massive fan of. Um, but here, at number 17 on this list, here they are with Drones, their latest album, full of absolutely superb anthemic songs. And really, you're not going to beat that riff to Psycho, another future live classic, I think. So, if there's not really a better time to get into music if you haven't already. And if you lost trust in music, like I did for one or two albums, this is a good album to pick up and give them another go. And number 17, Muse and Drones. <laughs> number 16 just when you thought there would be absolutely no thrash on this list the welsh masters of 80s action film influence thrash metal the one and only gamma bomb excuse that in the background it's just me knocking over a load of cds and um, the one and only gamma bomb coming in here at number 16 with the absolutely superb untouchable glory why this band aren't bigger i don't know honestly if you've not checked out gamma bomb go check them out now this is full throttle um thrash metal with a fantastic vocalist and really, really fun thrash metal in the sort of um, style of, I suppose you could say, Anthrax, really, um, along with a lot of 80s action film references in there. The Welsh, this Welsh band know what they want to be, have fun doing it, and I wish them all the best of luck. Hopefully I can interview them this year. So, yes, number 16. Who else but the absolutely marvellous Gamma Bomb? <laughs> At number 15 is an album that I feel got forgotten by a fair few critics in the um, end of year top album lists. I am, of course, talking about the one and only Masters of Progressive Black Metal, Enslaved, with their latest album, In Times. This is an absolute masterpiece, as was their last album as well, but really, Enslaved just go from strength to strength, and honestly, they have come up with some of their best songs for me, personally, on this album. Um, a Thousand Years of Rain, just well worth the price of admission alone on this album. So, um, yeah, if you like progressive music of any kind, whether you like extreme metal or not, go check this out. This is Enslaved and In Times, here at number 15 in the top 50 of 2015. In at number 14, a bit of a surprise for me, this one. Um, I took a gamble on it um, because... I'll admit, back in the day, I did listen to um, Trivium's second album with Paul Hard on the Strings of Yamata, um, Ascendancy, that's it. And 
I'll be honest, I was a little bit nonplussed by it back in the day when it came out. Um, everyone was raving about it. I was just sort of sat there thinking, it's a little bit generic metalcore for me. But um, I heard the first single from this album, um, which is of the same name, funny enough, Silence in the Snow. and um, Or Silence in the Snow, not Silence of the Snow, as I pretty much said there. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I think the decision on this album to go with nothing but pure sort of clean vocals, along with old school traditional style metal has really worked to Trivium's advantage. And um, honestly, if they continue in this style, but maybe bring it up to more of a contemporary standard, then um, they could become one of the absolutely massive, big, like a new, leading the way for a new big four, I suppose you could say. Um, so yeah, I have really, really did enjoy this album. That's why I'm here at number 14 on my top 15 albums of 2015. In at number 13 on this list is the one only Once Human with The Life I Remember. An absolutely savage album, um, fronted by a fantastic Australian female vocalist. And trust me, she can pretty much outgrow and outscream most men, um, as she proves ably on this album. Also, she can sing absolutely superbly. I mean... Um, really, she's got the same sort of vocal range as the one only Alyssa Whiteglers of the uh, of Arch Enemy. So I almost said the Agonist. She's no longer in the Agonist, obviously. Um, but um, yeah, they really, really fantastic band here with a superb album. Um, and if you don't know who else is on this album, band also comprises the one only Logan Madder, formerly of Soulfly and Machine Head. So he knows his way around a few riffs. Got to see these guys live um, supporting Fear Factory um, last month. And they were well worthy of headlining that gig. And I fucking love Fear Factory. I mean, my God, that gig was so good. Apart from the first, second sport band, who Dead Label, who I met. What a fantastic fan of them. But Once Human Come On, really had a fun time on stage as well. You could tell they're enjoying playing it. And really, how you go wrong? How can you go wrong with a band whose lead single was called You Come? So yes, Once Human in at number 13 with the life I remember. In at number 12, and I'm going to apologise instantly to the band if I pronounce this wrong, is Merker with M, their debut album. I believe it's their debut anyway. This was another one I took a gamble on. I mean, I like myself a little bit of atmospheric black metal, and that is what I got. But the difference here is... They went a different direction. The musically is black metal, and yes, there are some black metal screams and growls on here. But it, this is a strange mix of, I would say, um, black metal riffs and music mixed with a kind of Cocteau Twins etherealness. I know that sounds like a weird combination, but honestly, trust me, this is one of my discoveries of the year. Absolutely loving this album. If you haven't checked them out yet, do it. This is probably going to be... Well, no, fuck it. I'm going to say this is the future of black metal right here. This is Merc here with M at number 12. Go check them out. At number 11 is another band that I was never really a massive fan of. I will admit that up front, but... Um, over the last year or so, I've started to get back into them. Obviously, back in the day when Disturbed released The Sickness. I, I bought that album, you know, I was on there. I loved Down With The Sickness and Voices. Um, the album wasn't fantastically strong in my mind. Um, and I kind of bought the second album, Prayer. Didn't think much of that at all. And from there, I kind of kind of didn't listen to the band for a while. However, this year, got back into them and... Um, They've released Immortalise, and uh, honestly, this was after a five-year hiatus. That hiatus helped them. Now they've come back with a really, really strong collection of songs on here. Merely the cover, Sound of Silence. Not a fantastic fan of that. I prefer their cover um, that they done back in the day on 10,000 Fists, which I'm stalling for time because I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, but uh, you know the cover I'm on about. I think you do. Anyway, um, I had the animated video as well. And my mind has gone completely, completely blank. It's not very good when you try to tell people what cover you're on about. But yeah, the cover that's on 10,000 Fists and was originally done by uh, Phil Collins. Um, but yes, Immortalised. Absolutely superb song. Vanishing, uh, vanishing one. The Vengeful one, the first single, really did, doesn't show you how good an album this is. Honestly, I don't see why so many people have panned this album critics-wise. Really strong album. Uh, back to their best. If you haven't heard it yet, go check it out. In at number 11, Disturbed with Immortalised. 
And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we get into our final top ten. I hope you will join me then. Thank you for watching. Feel free to, uh, feel free to subscribe. And also, feel free to check out my uh, radio show. If you missed the other parts, the links to the other parts of the videos, uh, the other parts of the top 50, are indeed there in the uh, annotations at the top at the beginning of the video. So, um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you tomorrow. I